Hi, welcome to Brady Buzz. This is Premada, and we are going through the CSS tutorials. So, this is the part two of the text properties of the CSS tutorial. For any queries, you can contact me at technical dot trainer one nine zero nine at gmail dot com. So far, we have seen the color, text align, text decoration, text transform, text indent, and direction properties. So, from today, we'll uh, continue with the letter spacing. This property is basically used to set the space between the characters. Like we can give as the length in pixels or in centimeters or in inches. So I'll just uh, write it over here. I'll just remove this direction property, and I can write it as the letter spacing, and I'll give it as the six pixels over here. And just save it. And if I just click uh, the F5, you can see there are some distances between each and every letter of the word. So if I get give it as the one pixel, and you save it, you can see the difference. This is the normal one. And if I give the two pixels, it's it will start increasing. So this way you can give the spaces between the letters of the words. After that, you have word spacing. This will specify the spaces between the words. Previously, you saw the spacing between each and every letter. Here, you can specify the space between each and every word. So you can mention it as the four pixels over here, and give a semicolon. Save it and. Refresh it, so you can see the space between each and every word is increased, and it is equal to six pixels. So after that, you have the white spaces. This property will specify how the white spaces are handled inside an HTML document. So uh, sometimes it's like you want you have put lots of white spaces over here. So now you want white space as no wrap no wrap means the multiple white spaces will convert into single white space that means text will never wrap to the next line text will only wrap on line breaks so if you just save it and refresh it you can see there is the space between the word is gone so now if you can see uh, like right pre over here and save it and you can see that uh, there is a difference gap between this and is words so if you just press f5 you can see these spaces maintained so this way you can um, look at the values like no wrap the all these spaces will be converted into single white space in the pre value the white space is pre preserved in the pre line the uh, multiple white spaces will convert into single white space but the text will wrap when necessary and on line breaks pre wrap is the white spaces are preserved and the text will wrap when necessary and no li and on line breaks so this way you can set the properties another thing we have the text shadow if you want you can uh, put a shadow behind your text we'll see it the text shadow if you want you can just uh, put the color i want uh, the color as uh, red and before that you have to mention that how many pixels you want i want uh, three pixels over here and three pixels over here so if i just save it and refresh it you can say there is a shadow you can also make it reduce it one pixel and one pixel so this is more clearer if you want you can also set it uh, with the blur option I've given it as one pixel blur so you can see it is a little blurred so if I mention it as three pixels so it is more blurred 
so you can see first you mention the horizontal shadow the first portion second portion is the vertical shadow third one it is optional that we have mentioned it as the blur and the fourth one is the color that is the color of the shadow after this we have the line height this property specifies the height of the line I can write it as 5 pixels and I'll just remove this uh, text shadow so now you can see the height of the line is creased so as the background is white you cannot see it another thing you have the vertical alignments last time you saw is the text alignment now this is the vertical alignment how you want your um, tag to be your text to be uh, okay over here I'll mention as the vertical align and the value is like baseline I'll mention you cannot see any difference as baseline is it will keep the things as baseline so what I can do is to show you the demo for this I'll mention it in a span tag and I'll put this property for this So now your another statement is say is at the baseline with this. So if like um, I want to put it as sub over here, and if I just save it and refresh it, you can see your another statement is in the subscript type thing. If you change it and you keep it uh, as the text bottom, save it and you refresh it it is still in the bottom if you put it as text top so it has gone to the top of the text you can see it as the subscript also we have the unicode bd this property specify whether the text should be overridden or not this property is, is basically used with the direction property and you can give the value as embed normal bd override or inherit so i have given the unicode bd as the embedded and the direction i have mentioned as the rtl so you just refresh it you can see there is there is not that much difference because uh, we have taken another sample but you can see a hyphen over here and this way it's like uh, you can see it so this is how uh, it is used in BD override text creates an additional level of embedding reordering depends on the direction property thanks and have a nice day